Hey everybody, welcome to another Monday Reviews. Today we are reviewing this front grip right here. So this is from LCT Airsoft and this is a Zintico, Zint Zintico style front grip and it is the shorty with the angle cut and this grip is awesome. So this guy is on the gun you might recognize from the 1000 sub video. This is a friend of the channel, eh. This is his gun, uh, this is his grip, and he sent this grip down here to me to paint up to match the gun that I painted for him, and said I could go ahead and review it too, so I'm going to review it. And I want one now, because this thing is awesome. So you'll notice it's got this weird 45 degree cut, and that is so, when you're changing magazines, it doesn't get in the way, that literally is the reason behind it. Pretty, pretty cool. Well, let's get this grip off of this here gas and blow back and take a better look at it. Oh, wrong size. And uh, talk about it. I gotta find which one of these alley keys is the right one because I've got three of them up here. Because you see there's other stuff on here that we're also going to review separately. Because I have three things I have to do videos on. And it's also about the right size. Third time's the charm. There we go. Ah. So this grip here from LCT Airsoft is made out of aluminum and it is really really nice it has kind of like a powder coat type finish to it let's get this gun out of here and they did a bang up job on this here uh grip like i said the finish has like almost like a powder coating feel and look to it feels very very good it is uh aluminum you can unscrew uh this screw here and remove the grip from this actual housing here. It would slide out, as you can see that from that notch right there. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you you could do that if you so were inclined. Uh, it goes on any standard pick rail, so you could put this on an AR, anything with a standard Picatinny rail, this will go on. So it doesn't have to go on an AK, but it is what you would normally see. So I'm gonna talk to you about the packaging because I did think this was pretty great. So this is the packaging it came in from LCT. It's a standard little packaging. But when it came to you, it came to you like this. It had this little uh, like sponge thing in there. And that was to keep it from sliding around too much and getting banged up in, sh in transit and shipping. And I just thought that was a nice touch because there's a lot of space in here otherwise. It would just be flopping around in there. I thought LCT adding the sponge was a nice touch just to keep the thing from flopping around. And what's cool, if you want to paint this or do something, you could take this sponge it came with, paint it in like a, a bowl, and then dip the sponge in there and do a cool sponge effect on your painting. You could repurpose it. But anyway, I just thought that was a nice touch from LCT, and I wanted to point that out to you guys. Otherwise, it's not, not very heavy. It's pretty light. The cut, like I pointed out at the beginning of the video, uh, that's to facilitate mag changes for the AK because of the way the AK magazine rocks in and out of the uh, weapon for mag changes. Regular front grips on Picatinny rails can actually get in the way and cause mag change issues. With this 45 cut, when you're doing your mag change, it just kind of rocks past it and makes for a just smoother, easier feel. Feels good in your hand. I like that it's a nice little stubby grip and it doesn't protrude past my palm, my big old meaty palm, and I like the way it feels in my hand. It does feel really good, and I'm kind of mad now because I had to get this and send this down here and let me mess with it. Now I have to buy one. So thanks a lot, dude. You just make me spend more money. Uh, definitely nice piece of kit. This is the second piece of LCT gear that I've gotten my hands on. I have a muzzle device from LCT. Unfortunately, it didn't work for the AK that I have. But it was really nice, and it was all steel, and it felt really good. So I'm leaning more and more towards LCT products as it kind of keeps going on, and I keep getting... The more LCT stuff I touch, the more and more I'm beginning to uh, understand all the, I guess, what's the word? Uh, hype. There we go. The hype. If you're looking for a cool grip, Zinico style grip for your AK, that's going to give you that just swagger on the field. Definitely give this guy a look. I think you might be pleased. And um, it has that Spetsnaz appeal to it. Especially if you're putting together something for Milson West. 
you're doing some cool rust force shit, this grip would look great on your AK. Otherwise, that's all I got, guys. Pretty short video. Can't talk too long, too much about this, but it is a wonderful grip. It is really nice. There are other brands out there that do make these. I just don't know how if they're going to be nearly as nice as the LCT because LCT makes really quality stuff. As always, get out there, play some airsoft, try some different stuff. You might be really pleasantly surprised like I was with this thing. LARP smarter, not harder. Please ignore the chihuahua. Uh, top left-hand corner is going to be the most recent video. Top right-hand corner is, of course, a video that I think you're going to enjoy because it'll probably be in the same vein as this thing. Bottom right-hand corner is a nice helmet. And if you like this content or you think this is interesting, go ahead and punch that dude in the head. That is the subscribe button, and I would love for you to join me here. Until next time, get out there, play some airsoft, and hopefully I'll see you on the field. Take care.